Obey me, watchers! Obey me, subscribers! I summon you! So you really think that I was going to be left out on the sudden release of the newest lesson, huh? Well, here on the Ogogata Phoenix YouTube channel, I shall bring you the lore that you all deserve. And without further said, how's it going guys? This is Ogogata Phoenix presenting Lesson 21. Let's do this. Season 2 and gearing up for the founding ceremony. Woohoo! And Beals munching and eating away. Hey, Belfie, wake up. This is really good. You should try some. No, I'm still tired. I can't believe you expect me to get out of bed first thing in the morning, get changed, wash my face, and eat breakfast. It's worse than torture. Poor Belfie. Most people just call that a normal morning routine. Lol. I mean, that's just how it is. That's how it is. That's just how it has to be, right? Since Lord Diablo wants us coming to school every morning from now on. Good luck doing with that for the next couple thousand years. The preparation for the opening of the school must finally be kicking into higher gear. Pfft, <laughs> lame. You say that, but seems weirdly pumped about the whole thing, Mammon. Mm-hmm, I know. He's been acting all antsy like he can't wait for the day to get started. Huh? What? That's not true! Huh? It's probably because Macy is coming by to walk over there with us. Huh? So that's why. Talk about transparent. S hey, it's not like that, I'm telling you. I'm not excited for today or anything. Not even a little. The six of you could at least sit down and behave yourselves during breakfast, honestly. But they keep messing with me! Hi. Hey look, it's Macy! It's me! Ohio Kazaimas! Morning, Macy. What? Ignore the thing, it will go away on its own. There we go. Morning! Well, speak of the devil. Wait a minute, I have a question. I have a question. Since we're technically disguised as demon as the beginning, does he, does that technically mean we're still disguised or what? You're here earlier than I expected. Wanna eat breakfast with us before heading out? This stuff here is really good, and this one, and this one too. Well, we're not a bunch of kids here. We don't need someone's walking us to school. We're their attendants after all. When a Cinderella is too prickly, it's just off-putting, you know. Huh? Did you say something? Me? No, nothing at all. You actually showed up at the perfect time, Macy. Do you think that you could use some of your magic to get the lid off this jar? Is that jar of bloody marmalade? I didn't realize you were still trying to get it open. Yeah, I have uh, to try to do that. Every morning, otherwise I can't stay calm. That lid won't budge at all, although it's super tight. We tried everything to get it off. Leave it to me! Yeah. Oh my, such confidence! Careful, or I might fall for you. But I already fall for you. Well, even more than I already have. Now, show us just how impressive your magic is, and pop! The lid off that jar! Abracadabra. Did we do it? Nothing happened. It looks like the spell went off, it went off like it was supposed to. Go ahead and try once more, Macy. Magic. Nope, it's not working. What's wrong, Macy? Not feeling yourself today? Aces is probably just hungry. Uh. I'll open it. Let's see, see that. What? Wait, don't try to brute force or it will. Yeah. You're sending bloody marmalade flying everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Water magic, go! Uh, what kind of crazy person pops up a water spell with no warning, huh? Well, if Macy hasn't done that yet, we'd all been converted in bloody marmalade right now. True, but now the whole room is flooded. Oops, my bad. Damn it, if you were good at that spell, why couldn't you get the spell to open the lid, right? Huh? Come on! Actually, that's a good question. Why didn't Macy's magic work on that jar? It looks like the spell went off properly. Uh. It had to be hunger. <laughs> Wait a minute! Levi's having Macy fix his uniform! <laughs> no fair! It's not like I asked for help, okay? Macy just decided to fix it for me. <laughs> Tch, man, I can't figure out how to tie this tie right, you know? I could be sure to use some help. Here, I'll fix it for you. What? I wasn't talking to you. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. <laughs> can't breathe. <coughs> Everyone's always want Macy's help with everything. You should really just live here with us, Macy. Yeah, exactly. Alright, everyone, enough fooling around. We're leaving for Rad. Now. Here we go! Good morning, Macy! Ah, this is great. I'm so happy that you got to see you here and all bright and early wearing your uniform. Finally, it feels like Rad's opening day is almost upon us. So I thought I'd go ahead and share our schedule leading up to Rad's opening, which is why I've called you here today. Yeah. Well then, Barbados, if you would be so kind. Of course, young master. Our plans call for Rat to open two months from now. Really? Furthermore, we will be holding a founding ceremony to Constantine. I, I don't know how to say that word. With the opening of the school. That's sooner than I expected. Ooh, and there's Mephistopheles. <clears throat> Indeed, which means there are no time for fooling around. What? Why are you looking at me like that, Lucifer? You have a way of showing up at the most unexpected moment. Puh! Well, what can I say? I do like to keep things interesting. That wasn't a compliment. Lord Diablo, I put together a report detailing the status of our plans and preparation for the extra extra curric oh wait for the extracurricular activities at the academy. Ah. Thank you, Mephisto. By the way, about what we discussed earlier, you know, regarding the newspaper club. Yes, not to worry. I I given it some thought. Rod is getting a great institution once founded by none other than you yourself. It will require a talent, experienced demon to run its newspaper club. And I must admit the only demon fit for the job like that is me. So yes, I, Mephistopheles, would be glad to serve as the head of the newspaper club. Great, I appreciate that. The Devadome's Times, the greatest media empire in all the Devadome, was founded by my old family. I come from a distinguished no more lineage, a family whose rep representation is built on a long and proud legacy of service to the Demon King. Compared to a pack of Fallen angels who only just recently washed up in the Devadome, well, I'm simply in a different league. There's no denying that, is there, Lucifer? 
I see. I'm afraid we won't have quite enough space to house a book collection this large. Maybe we should expand the library by adding the basement levels as well. Stop ignoring me! Ah, by the way, Macy, can I ask you to keep an eye on the brothers to ensure they're staying on task? Will do. Here, this is a checklist for you to use. I would appreciate your help. Yeah. Macy! Yeah. Hello there, and good morning! You're coming to Rod 2, right? Oh. Well, sort of. We thought we could come and check this place out to find out what a school in the Devil Dome is really like. The founding ceremony... Sorry. The founding ceremony... Bleh, I can't say the word ceremony. Oh, there we go. The founding ceremony is still two months away, you see. So until then, Diablo said we could come to ride along with you all. It's too bad we have limited to just two months. I wish we could go to school here with you, Macy. What's that I hear? Luke didn't want you to say that any school in the Devil Dome was bound to be bad news. That's got nothing to do with anything! <laughs> That's a nice laugh, Simeon. By the way, where are you headed to, Macy? Are you looking for someone? Belfi. Belfagor. I actually saw him out in the courtyard a few moments ago. Well, we're going ahead to continue our little tour now. See you later, Macy! Bye-bye! Something's not quite right. Unbelievable! Why am I stuck doing something like this? I mean, weeding the courtyard? How is this helping us prepare for the founding ceremony? Shut up, Satan. I'm getting tired of you of listening to this. At least let me complain. It's all I've got at this point. I'll cut out the in intellectual work, not the manual labor. Yet Lucifer has me on weeding duty. This is your fault to begin with, and you know it. Don't try and pin the blame on me. You were all for the idea, too. Well, that was only because of you. Hold it right there. Let's talk about what you did. What are you two even fighting about? Oh, Macy, it's you. We're not fighting about anything, really. Originally, the two of us were told to clean up the library, right? But then Zane was like, we should look for a, birth a book with curses that we should use to curse on Lucifer, so... Uh. Wrong! You suggested it first, Belfie. Uh. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we pretended to be sorting for forbidden tomes while looking for the curse, but then Lucifer caught us. Right, and this was the result. He put us on weeding duty as punishment. Ugh, enough! I refuse to crowd here pulling reeds after this much longer. No more! Wait, what are you doing, Satan? I'm going to summon a salamander. Just you wait, I would incinerate every single weed in this courtyard right down to the roots. You really think it would be that easy? Yeah. I don't care whether it's easy or not. I'm doing it. Hear me and hear my call. In the name of Satan, Avatar of Wrath, unleash the fire within thee and reduce all to ash. Come forth, Salamander! <laughs> wait a second, that's... No ordinary salamander. A hellfire salamander? Again? But wasn't that the point? This is amazing! It may not be what I was expecting, but still, I called forth a hell salamander without using a summoning circle. This is really isn't the time to be celebrating. If that thing starts spitting fire... Yeah! Ugh! Hear me, O spirit of water! 
In the name of the sorcerer, Macy, I call upon you. Protect us! Wow, nicely done. Thanks, Macy. If we don't do something too, the entire court is going to be incinerated, um, and us along with it. This isn't good at all. Satan, you can't send it back where it came from? I summoned it with the understanding that it would reduce all to ash. Why would you say something like that? I guess uh, our other opinion would be use it by force. Use force? How are we supposed to... Spirit of water. Send forth a raging turret and let all of its path be swept away. Solomon to the rescue. Bye-bye. Honestly, what were you thinking summoning a hellfire salamander? Fortunately, I was here to drive it off. But if you things have gone south, Ryan might have been incinerated along with the entire Devil Dome itself. Solomon? You saved us. Wait a minute, something isn't quite right. Oop! What you mean? Never mind, it's nothing. By the way, Macy, what's that you've got there? A work ethic evaluation form? So now they've got you doing that, huh? Just as the two of us are doing fire, no problem at all. Seems like the opposite of fine to me. Oops. Ugh, I have had it! This is beyond too much. I can't believe we're forced to scrub the hallway. I just painted my nails yesterday. Honestly, I'm surprised, Beal, that you were... Ugh, sorry. Honestly, Beal, I'm surprised you're putting so much effort into this. I mean, it's such an awful task. Sorry, what was that about the bloody rice omelet? Yeah, yeah. That's not what I said. Not even close. A uh, salted grilled black uh, goat bat, sabbat salad, devil dome style boneless pira pira ruksu. How do you pronounce that? I see what's happening. You're so famous that every sounds everything sounds like food to you now, huh? Yeah. Oh, Macy! Hello! Did you come to check on us? Aw, thank you! Oh, hey! You must know a better way to handle this job, right? Like some sort of quick and easy cleaning spell, for example. Come here, Macy. Can you use that magic of yours to help us clean? Hmm. Please? Sure. Yeah, that's the spirit. Magic. What's going on? The broom is moving on its own. Oh. Macy, that's amazing! You're making the broom and rags and stuff to clean on their own! Ah. Yeah, that's true, but... Why does it feel like my body is moving on its own, too? I'm starting to clean. What the? Macy, you're supposed to take control of the cleaning impentance, not us! What do you think you're doing? Come on, stop the enchantment! We didn't even slow down. Hmm. What the? I'm not into that, Macy. Just so doing it that and fast, we're getting hungry. This is awesome. What are we going to do? Wait, if we don't stop soon, I'm afraid we'll end up make end up making Macy scrubbing you down too. I don't care what I have to do. Just make it stop. Macy, what about stay? Use that. Oh, that's right. Well, we stopped, so that's good. Oh no, Macy, did we land you on you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Still, at least you don't have to worry about scrubbing you down now. Wait a minute, though. What? What's wrong with you, Macy? I mean... You let Beale and I get caught in your spell, and then you couldn't stop it. Also, you used stay on Mammon all the time, like it hit him really hard, but this time it was different, like it felt sort of weak. Uh. Yeah, good point. Usually when we get hit with stay, it slams you on the floor, but
but this time it was more like the strength just drained out of my entire body a little. It sort of, you know, lacks a certain punch. Macy, what's wrong? Does your leg hurt? Oh no, did you twist your ankle while we landed on top of you? Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Bill, do you think we could take Macy to the classroom? Got it. Come on, I'll carry you on my back. Thanks. Don't worry about it, I'll take good care of you. Being strong has its perks, doesn't it, Beale? I like to be you right now. When it comes down to it, this is actually our fault. This is the least I can do. So hang on tight, we'll be there in no time. Greed. It's mamma time. Whoa. This Akuzan Supercell is crazy. Nice. I was just thinking I could use some new shoes and a jacket. Yeah. You've already got more clothes and shoes than you know what to do with. Are you really going to wear whatever you end up buying? Huh? Sure I am. You got to have, you can't have too many pairs of shoes, right? Same goes for clothes, too. <laughs> well, usually in games, the more equipment you have, the better, so... <coughs> I guess it's like that? You guys, no. didn't Lucifer tell you to clean the classroom? <laughs> Don't have for that right now, I'm too busy with this limited edition gotcha game event, lol. And then it's like, I'm going to waste my time cleaning some classroom. Who do you think I... Huh? Wait, what the... Bill, why are you carrying Macy on your back? It's why. Man, I had to do a double take. Though I was seeing things for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you two are like a couple of flirty normies. I don't want to see this. Get out of my sight. I hurt my ankle, though. Huh? Your ankle? What happened? Huh? So long story short, Asma and I fell on top of Macy, and right in the process, they ended up twisting their ankle. Right, Macy? Uh. You fell on top of Macy? How? What's going on between you guys? Huh? Hmm, now that you mentioned it, it, Macy's ankle does look swollen. Oh, crud. I thought the classroom might be have some supplied first aid, so I came here. Okay. There might be something for a sprain in a medicine rack. Oh. Alright then, Levi, use your DDD to do a search. Figure out what works on a sprain, then I and Bia will see if we have anything like that. Huh? Let's see. Hmm, this might be the best thing for a spray. Shadow Corp Instant Ointment. Instant ointment, what does it look like? Uh. It comes in an orange jar with a green lid. Uh. And it has a purple label. Uh. Yo, let me hear that one more time. Uh. No, if I can't, if you can't remember, then maybe you should put it be paying better attention. Orange jar, green lid, purple label. Wow, not bad. You got a good memory. <laughs> nice going, Macy. Whoa. Oh, so it was an orange jar. Uh. Could this be it? Uh. Yep, that's it. Uh. Great, hurry up and pass it over to Macy. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh. What? Oi. Yo, Macy, you want this ointment here? <laughs> well then, give me all your money. You gotta pay up tribute to the great mamun. You show me the money, I'll show you the ointment. What? Are you insane? How could you be that stupid? Man, and your money grubbing scumbag! Yeah. Wow, that is low, Mammon. Really low. Hey, I don't see what's so wrong about it. I mean, I'm the one who found the ointment, right? Macy is injured, and you won't hand over the one thing that could help? That's lower than low. Yeah, I knew you were scummy, but I had no idea that you were that scummy. Huh? What did you say? <sighs> Alright, that's enough. No more arguing. Okay. Simeon and Luke, what are you guys doing here? Asmodeus told us what happened. Macy, we're here for your injuring. 
Or, we, we heard you were injured? Let me take a look. Ah, uh, yes, it's definitely swollen. Still, it's nothing but my healing magic can't handle. This should make you feel better. Magic. There, I've taken the pain away. It's gone now. Hmm. You won't believe what Mamma did, Simeon. Seriously, he just set a new standard for awful. Ah. I really thought you were better than that, Mammon. Hey, come on! I don't remember you guys even getting on my case like this before. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't? Wow, that's even worse! Huh? Maisie, that's your DDD ringing. It sounds like someone's messaging you. Is it Solomon? Nope, it's Lucifer. Where are you? It's almost time to go. Come back to the assembly hall. And tell the others to come too. We'll all be meeting back here. Okay. So I took a look at the report Macy brought back to me. And it's more than clear that when I leave you unsupervised, bad things happen. You just now figured that out? Man, not another lecture. Tch, one of my nails came off. Alright, that's it. Now, now, Lucifer. No need to be too upset. Why don't we let the matter drop for now? Everyone, thank you for your hard work. I prepared some tea, as well as a little something to eat. And be elated all up. I see you already decided to help yourself. This all looks really good, but the cookies have a kind of unusual shape, huh? Yes, these are modeled after the human royal fortune cookies. Oh no, that means Bill ate whatever was in those things. Though, I added my own touch to them. Fortune cookies? Yeah, the inside of the cookie is hollow, you see. I put a coin inside one of them, but only one. From what I understand, human world fortune cookies have actual fortunes inside. Hence the name, however. I decided to put a devil stone style twist on the concept and leave a lucky coin instead. So this is a sort of real life gotcha game? Beal, you scarfed down the whole thing down. Are you sure that's a good idea? What if you swallowed the coin? <gasps> hey, look, there's something inside Macy's cookie. Could that be? Oh. Yep, it's the coin. Uh. Sure it is. Whoa. Yay, Macy, you hit the jackpot. <laughs> that coin is supposed to bring you good luck, Macy. Good for you. You're giving it to me? Wait, are you doing this to say thank you for training your injury earlier? Because it was nothing, really. There's no need to thank me. Well then, if Simeon doesn't want it, I'll take it. What the? Ma'am, did you just snatch it away from Macy? You can't do that. Yeah, are you crazy? I can't believe you actually did that. What do you think you're doing, Mammon? Shut up! The coin's mine! I'm not about to give it to anyone else! It's mine, and that's that! You really are a scum. Demons. Unbelievable. Well, I actually don't mind, but... What do you say, Macy? Would it be okay if, if Mammon has it? Mammon. Don't bother telling me to give it back, because it's not going to happen. It's mine, and I'm not letting anyone else have it. Well, if Simeon and Macy are okay, it's okay. Then I guess it's all right. I can't believe I had something like you for a brother. It's embarrassing. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me. I don't care. 
Boy. Because this coin belongs to good luck, and it belongs to the great mammon now. No one else can have it. <laughs> as long as I got this coin, the money's gonna come rolling in. Piles and piles of sweet, sweet money. <laughs> oh, yeah! Who is that? The magic time frame. <laughs> the great gram has got himself a lucky coin. Oh yeah! It, Come on, world! Bring me some good luck! Hand me with us, sweet, sweet money! Gobs and gobs of money! Raining down on the great mammon! I am so sorry, Macy. Our idiot brother really is a great A moron. Nah. Ma'am, and if you keep flipping that coin war like that, eventually it's gonna go flying off somewhere else. Yeah, don't blame us if you lose it. Just forget about him. All that stuff about a coin bringing good luck is just superstition, anyway. Hey, hey. Yo, 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 come on, dummy. You don't be so jealous. Yeah, then again, it does feel like kind of good to knowing you're jealous that luck's on my side now. <laughs> Now if you look over there, that restaurant I was telling you about is really good. Huh? Hmm, where? Uh. Over there on the corner. See, it's a bit far away, but... Huh? Huh? Oh, sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to run into you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey! My lucky coin! Did you drop it? We told you to be careful. Well, it was about to happen eventually. That's what you get. Sorry, Mimmin. What? Sorry? Belfi, you son of a- Sorry isn't gonna cut it! My lucky coin rolled off somewhere, and it's your fault! Sorry, come on, I'll help look for it. You damn straight you will. Expect you not gonna do it on your own. So start looking now! And don't stop till you find it. Or you're too harsh. Shut up! Don't get on my case. It's Buffy's fault that this happened. What if something else could have caused so What if someone else comes along and picks up the coin, huh? No way. I'm gonna let that happen. I got that coin from you. I can't have something else take it from me. Alright, stop. That's enough, mammon. Take a deep breath. I understand how you feel, but still, try to calm down. Uh, I... I'm sorry, like, um... I'm gonna head home. Hey, Mammon. He's gone. It's alright. Let him go, and Melfi, there's no need to feel bad either. That goes for you as well, Macy. Is he acting a bit strange? Huh? You think? He seems like his normal self to me. What could be happening? I see, then Mammon just left? You really had it rough sometimes, huh, Macy? Even here in this period of time, the brothers are still a handful. By the way, I feel like this stew lacks a certain something. The flavor can use an extra punch. Mind if I add a few things and spice it up a little bit? Hell no. Okay. Oh, you want me to sit down as well, okay? Maybe I'll let you handle the stew. Anyway... Back to what we were talking about earlier. I have to agree, I'm a little concerned about the way Mammon was acting as well. But right now, that's not the only thing that's worrying me. This has to do with me personally rather than the brothers. But I feel like as though my magic has been getting weaker too. You know, we could use a little something extra for dinner. We don't have all that much here. How about I whip up one more thing for us to eat? No, that's okay. Well, in that case, I guess what we've got here should be enough. 
So we're turning to the subject of magic. I don't really know why this is happening. Maybe crossing through space-time has caused us some sort of interference? I suppose it's also possible that our connection to our own time is growing weaker. I hate to say this, but if my magic is weakening to the point I lose it completely, we might not be able to return to our original time anymore. To be on the safe side, you should try to force the past with the brothers sooner rather than later, so we can avoid that. Yeah, that's nearly the point since I started this game. Good question. If things keep going the way that they have been, I wonder how much longer uh, will I be able to hold out. I'm guessing we have until the founding ceremony, but no later. So we've got about two months to work with this. Still, it's not like you have to get it down tomorrow or anything. So turn that round upside down. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Come on, cheer up. Why don't we go ahead and eat? We both worked on this dinner together, so why don't we both try to enjoy it? Oh god, Solomon! I thought I surprised you by opening my own special twist, you know. Spice it up a little. It's way better this way, trust me. So why don't we say we dig in? We don't want it to get cold now, do we? You nuisance. And cliffhanger! Or is it? Oh, hi, Belfie. You joined the meeting. Oh, oh gosh, the frame rate. Hey, can you hear me? Wait, do I have to uh, do the talking since this is technically has voice acting in it? Hello. My beloved. Don't be so sad. He's in his room. Uh, he seems like he's fine. ちん、ヘイ。ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ちん、ち